Every day, incredible strides are being made in the study of astronomy. New technologies are being created, new objects are being discovered, and current understandings are being shifted. Although we don't tend to think of the practical impact of space exploration, there is certainly never a dull moment in the study of astronomy. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we share three recent discoveries and the impact that they have on us here on Earth. Something in space keeps exploding repeatedly. A mysterious cosmic blast has been spotted by astrophysicists, expelling intense and frequent blasts of pure energy. Scientists are still baffled as to what might be causing these odd explosions. The bursts have been labelled as fast radio bursts, or FRBs. This cosmic marvel originates back in 2007 when it first appeared. The radio aspect of the electromagnetic spectrum is triggered by FRBs, which create radio wave pulses. These blasts are short, lasting a mere few thousandths of a single second, but their strength and power is so great it overpowers the amount of energy our sun releases in an entire year. It is common for FRBs to release a radio wave explosion only one time in their lifetime. But the object now known as FRB 121102 and some others release these bursts of energy multiple times at random moments. FRB 121102 was found to be located 3 billion light years away from Earth in a dwarf galaxy. Using the Chinese FAST or 500 meter aperture spherical radio telescope, astronomers were able to experiment and explore possibilities with FRB 121102. FAST is the most advanced radio telescope on the planet. It is able to detect the smallest changes in outer space that normal telescopes used by space organizations such as NASA might not manage to see. In a span of only 60 hours, FRB 121102 blasted energy a shocking 1,652 times. That is up to 117 times in a single hour. Never before has an FRB created pulses at such insane speeds. FRBs tend to occur away from Earth, meaning we rarely get a chance to adequately study them. Exceptionally, in 2020, an FRB was discovered in our Milky Way. It turns out that the source of this particular FRB close to us is a magnetar. Magnetars are deceased stars produced from neutron stars. This is the first time we have ever discovered a source of an FRB, and it is uncertain whether all magnetars are the origins of FRBs or just this one. Still, where the FRB comes from is now not known. The leading theory suggests it comes from magnetic reactions on the magnetar's surface. Its magnetic field rivals that of Earth by trillions, and therefore the FRB blasts might come as a result of such volatile magnetic fields. The FRB blasts created by the Milky Way magnetar are nowhere near as intense or frequent as FRB 121102's is, but research into this subject is still fresh and there are infinite things scientists do not yet understand about FRBs. None of the research is yet conclusive. Scientist Victoria Caspi stated, the question is now for the theorists. NASA reveals there are more than 300 ways its James Webb Space Telescope could fail. NASA is inarguably the biggest, most influential space program in the world, and while others are coming forward with impressive new tech and research, NASA continues to develop their equipment and push limits further than we ever thought they could. We have all come to know and love the Hubble Space Telescope, which launched on April 24, 1990 but it's now time for an update, and this comes in the form of the James Webb Space Telescope, an impressive new telescope ready to update our telescope tech. The James Webb Space Telescope clocks in at an expensive ticket price of 10 billion US dollars. While this sky-high budget allows for the latest features and most advanced equipment, it also comes with high stakes. Though this expensive project seems to be raising a few question marks as of late. Unsurprisingly, with such a huge budget and advanced goal, the James Webb Space Telescope, also known as the JWST, is the most complicated venture NASA have made of late. 
so it is only realistic to expect there to be some delays, dilemmas, and concerns involved while it is being developed. However, recently, NASA announced that there are more than 300 opportunities for the JWST to fail as it goes into orbit, with the estimated number being 344 different places, times, and ways slip-ups can occur. It was Mike Menzel, the lead mission systems engineer for NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center in Maryland, who offered the number of 344 points of possible failure in the launch of the JWST. He also commented that around 80% of these opportunities are associated with deployment. In a statement, he said, When I started in this business about 40 years ago, I remember one of the first lessons I got taught was to avoid deployments on orbit. Whilst this advice may be practical for most scenarios in the cutting-edge, groundbreaking world of the James Webb Space Telescope, this simply is not possible to avoid. 28 minutes after the initial blast-off, the JWST will leave the launch vehicle, and being what NASA described as the most complex sequence of deployments ever attempted in a single space mission. A series of complex maneuvers, including unfolding itself, pulling a number of levers, cables and springs will all then happen in a carefully planned out sequence lasting 14 years, every move of which presents a new chance for something to go wrong. These 144 release mechanisms all must work in precisely the manner in which they were intended for this to be a successful mission, a lot of pressure for the one telescope. The final assembly and testing for the JWST took place in August 2021 in Redondo Beach, California, in preparation for the 18th of December 2021 launch date. Not only does the complexity and the huge investments place pressure on the James Webb Space Telescope to be successful, but there is already a queue of research projects just waiting in line to be able to use the telescope once it is established. We can only hope that the JWST has a successful launch and deployment and ask that this high-stake domino lineup plays out as planned. Ball-shaped mass found 3,200 miles beneath the surface of the Earth. Deep beneath the Earth lies our planet's inner core. This ball-shaped iron mass is the reason for our magnetic field. Back in the 1950s, it was believed the inner core was solid, but now it has been proven that it is in fact composed of various materials, molten metal liquids, soft structures and harsh objects form the core, as discovered by geophysicist Rhett Butler. Clearly, no human nor machine has ever seen the core. The heat and depth make it unavailable to study up close. As a result, we have only ever been able to make educated assumptions regarding its components. Butler and his co-author, Seiji Subo, used earthquake waves to research the core. Butler explains, illuminated by earthquakes in the crust and upper mantle and observed by seismic observatories at Earth's surface, seismology offers the only direct way to investigate the inner core and its processes. Seismic waves move the Earth's layers and thus studying their movements helps us determine the densities, temperatures and minerals within the particular layers. By using the results taken from two different sides of an earthquake, Suboy and Butler gathered enough data to place into Japan's Earth supercomputer generator and evaluated their findings. Their research suggested that, unlike the 1950s and 1970s theories that the inner core was made of soft iron alloys, it is actually composed of various hard, liquid and soft regions together in a mixture held together by pressure. In Butler's words, this puts new constraints upon the composition, thermal history and evolution of Earth. This changes how the magnetic field may be studied in the future. Knowledge of this boundary condition from seismology may enable better, predictive models of the geomagnetic field which shields and protects life on our planet. Our future is shaping up to be something extraordinary. Who knows what awaits us in the years to come? Will space travel be a common occurrence? Will we understand how our own Earth works with new insight? Will more historical secrets be unraveled? Time can only tell, but for now, we can marvel at these amazing findings. But what do you make of these recent discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.